Tell me about the mokko. What does it well, mean? Well, the, the mokko is actually the same thing. It's uh, it, it have reasons to it. Just like you plug your eyebrows, <laughs> uh, paint your nails, so you don't have what? Oh, your, I your do on the toes, yeah. Yep. So I ask you the same, why do you paint your nails? To look beautiful. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly, for the same reason, I guess, but a, a lot deeper meaning to it. Of course, that's what I thought. I mean, you know, more know, meaning than it, my it nails. It's a lot more in depth to it. Yeah. You know, I mean, if, you, if you're living here, if you and I, if you and I were hanging out here 100 years ago, and if you walked into the bus there with a pale face and nothing on it, then who's this strange person walking in? Yeah. So a mokko is a common thing that everybody have. And so... Uh, what does it talk about? You say it's deep, but well, what does it talk yeah, about? Well, you know, uh, it's a representation. There's two things in our life. Is it? There's a physical and a psychological. It's a spiritual world. There's two things. Uh, the, the shortcut to this, the conversation, is that they say that um, uh, there's uh, your wairua is the, on your top and your physical is the bottom. Your ira tangata, you know, make the chore and all of those things. All of this part, the top half, is your, your ira atua. You are the co-creator. All of that comes from, uh, from feelings, touch, heart, soul, then all of this, the bottom half there. So the moko is all of that. Mm. You understand? Yeah, I do understand. Yeah, yeah. I do understand. Yeah. It's different to what I had learned before. Yeah, well, yeah. a whole lot of people had different, you know, they go, this is my mother's side, yeah. my father's side, this That's... is my tribal side, this is the... But, but you're the, the, the most you. essential. The, yeah, the, but the, the most, I mean, yeah, the, the moko itself come from Tani. And when the, when the when the children of Tani uh, came to the point uh, where they uh, felt that they no longer want to be in darkness because the mother and dad was like that, so the children in the little wee hole. Yeah. So they needed a space to go. So interesting debate in that. But imagine yourself to be one of those child that are stuck in the corner there for a long, long time. What would you do? Push them apart. Of course, so you've got to find a space. Would you like, are you still the same with mum and dad? Oh, no, I don't know. No, no, well, it's the same thing. <laughs> it's the same process. It's the process in how you deal with it. That the time that you need to be apart, then you move along, shifting. So you don't want to be under mum, dad, for a long time all your life. Do you? No. Exactly. So that's the point I'm trying to get at. And so, so in in the result of that, that so we learn from that exercise, from that process. What do we learn from that? So we learn how you deal with that. So in the conversation, Tani become the more logical person. And so rather than punch you over and kick you in the guts and kick you in the face, <laughs> he's the one who kind of moves, stretches himself out. So the representation of Tani is the face of here is the winds of Tani, is the bird, because the bird life comes from Tani, from the forest. Mm -hmm. And so it goes in, so it looks down. He's the beak of Tani, he's the bird, so it looks down, flies, checking yeah. out. You learn every day. Yeah, you, you are. Every day. Yeah, there you are.